Have you ever heard that in one lifetime, we spend three months brushing our teeth, half a year in the shower, and over a whole year cleaning our house? But have we ever spent one moment cleaning our mind? Have you ever heard of cleaning your mind? Would you like to clear your mind? Hi, my name is Elizabeth, and today I'm going to read you a poem about how to cleanse your mind. What can I do to thoroughly cleanse my mind? The mind is thoroughly cleansed means to discard the human mind and become the mind of the great universe. This is what it means to thoroughly cleanse the mind. The mind that does not exist, which is the mind of the universe, is a mind that has absolutely nothing. It is the mind that has completely ceased. A person has thoughts arising to the degree he possesses the mind of the self. But one who does not have the mind of the self does not have those thoughts. This is why absolutely no human thoughts arise. Therefore, his mind is thoroughly cleansed. When you completely discard the entirety of the remembered thoughts, habits, and body, you will become the thoroughly cleansed mind. So thank you for listening. And next, I'm going to tell you about a method for how you can cleanse your mind. So please enjoy. As I got older, I was living life, going to school, making friends, having up and down times. After college, I started to have a lot of stress and anxiety just from living daily life. So eventually, I started to look into all kinds of spiritual things. I was reading books. I was watching tons of YouTube videos to try to get some information about why we are here and to connect to something bigger than myself. But none of those things actually worked. So it wasn't until I found this meditation where I actually found something that actually worked, where I found all the answers to my deepest questions and I was able to get rid of all of my stress and anxiety and able to feel truly happy and alive. So today I'm gonna to tell you all about this amazing method so please listen with an open mind and an open heart, and let's get started. In this meditation, we talk about changing from the false mind to the true mind. So let's talk about what is true. At this very moment, you and I are on the earth, and the earth is floating in this vast, starry universe. We can't draw the universe, but we express it as a circle. So if this place is universe, from this original emptiness, everything comes out when the conditions are just right. So the stars can come out, the sun, the moon, the earth, and people come out from here. Everything comes out from this original place. This is also what we call God, Buddha, Allah, the wondrous existence. We always talked about truth, but we didn't know exactly what truth is. This original existence itself, this emptiness itself is truth. Because it existed forever before, it exists now and will continue to exist forever after. This itself, down to the tiniest particle, is alive. From this non-material, all the material things come out and exist. But let's talk about what is false. So basically everything in the universe is in harmony with each other. But the thing that is out of harmony and not in connection with the universe is the human mind. Why is that? This human body itself functions in the same way as a five senses camera. So through this body, what we see with our eyes, what we smell, what we taste here, everything is recorded inside and copied into the brain. So humans mistakenly think that they're living as one with this world, but they're not actually living in the world. They live in the world of their own mind of pictures that they've taken. Just like a camera takes pictures and stores them in the film, Humans take pictures and store them in the brain. So we've been living inside of the pictures we've taken of our hometown, our elementary school, middle school, high school, college, career, social life, married life. Every single moment was captured inside as pictures and humans are living inside of the world of their own pictures. So just like this, if we draw it out, humans take pictures and if we spread it to the side, the world is here and this is the world of the human mind where humans which our picture are living. So we're actually living in this world of pictures. 
The picture world is exactly overlapping, just like a curtain or a veil. We're actually looking at everything from inside of the world of our own pictures. And the pictures themselves are illusions. From birth until now, we've been accumulating negative minds, judgments, fears, worries, doubts, all kinds of stress and anxiety come from all of this mind of pictures. It's also a self-centered reality, something only I have my own pictures. From my subjective reality, I took pictures and I always thought my mind was right and others are wrong. This self is the camera that takes pictures. So in this meditation, we throw away and we empty this mind of pictures. So we call this human mind karma, habits, and body. So karma are all the pictures I've taken from birth until now, living, being dictated by all the stuff that I've stored in my mind. And I have something that pops up in my mind that I'm competing with, something pops up in my mind that I'm worried about, thinking about the future, thinking about the past, something happened 10 years ago, pops up in my mind, I feel regretful, all these things have been stored inside. And then habits are the things that are inherited from our ancestors. So even in the same family, each sibling could inherit different habits. So they can experience the same event, but one sibling could say it's terrible, one could say it's not a big deal. It's because their minds are different. The habits inherited are different. We also have the body. The body is the container for all of these things. And when the body is filled with all of this stuff we've accumulated, then we feel tired, we feel heavy, we have negative thoughts popping up all the time. Also, if you think about it, just like we have to get nutrients from food that we eat, basically our body eats food to get energy and nutrients, but it gets rid of what it doesn't need. But we've never thrown anything away from our mind. So just like if we never went to the bathroom, our body would become sick and toxic. Basically, we've never thrown anything away from all the things we've kept accumulating into our mind. So this meditation is about emptying and discarding all of that. When you throw this all away, we have a seven-step method, layer by layer, just throwing it away. And as I did this, I had space open up inside. My pain went away in my shoulders. I felt more and more happy and relaxed. And I felt like there was vitality and hope that I could do the things that I need to do, have confidence everything started to disappear. These deeply rooted negative minds and attachments that we have to all these illusionary things, we throw them all away and then we can go back to the origin, the universe, and be reborn from here. So this is the first time I understood what resurrection meant, that when we're reborn from here, everything, the world exists within your mind and you live with great freedom and happiness. Born here, eternally never die, know the principles of the world and achieve human completion. Completion is to become truth and to live in the true world, which is right here. This place is heaven. So simply speaking, we are finding God's mind inside your mind, finding the kingdom of God within you. Heaven, paradise is something inside. It's not something far away. So in this method, if you also we think about like in the modern day, we've had so many advancements made. So we have computers, we have advanced technology. If religion were a computer, meditation would be AI. It's the advancement. When you throw away karma, habits, and body, you will be equipped with AI. And then you can understand the principles of the world. You have wisdom. So your life can flow like water, just like the origin. The universe has no blockages. This place has no hindrances at all. When you go back to the universe and live as the world's mind and not as this false mind that accumulated, then you can actually become one with others because our original mind is one with everything. So you can harmonize with others. You can be free of conflicts. You can find great peace inside. This is something we have to do while we are alive. So no matter what you believe in, whether it's God, Buddha, Allah, before we go back to see this existence, our mind should be clean, should be free and should be pure and, and free from all the negative minds, all the judgments, doubts, and all of the bitterness, regrets that accumulated from this one lifetime. You know, we live, our behavior won't change if we keep living in the same mind. We have to throw away and then you can start with a new mind, a fresh, clean mind, throwing all of that stuff away. So I welcome you to try it for yourself. 
find out and feel the difference and find out for yourself. There's nothing more important than this. The first thing that is most important is your mind. Everything you do has to do with your mind, your work, everything. So when you cleanse your mind, your, your life will open up. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.